Okay guys, welcome to another video. There is a new React Native library for animations called React Native Scotty. So I'm just going to test it out today and see whether is it worth all the hype. So it's supposed to be a drop-in replacement for Loti. So if you know about Loti files, so this library is supposed to be a drop-in replacement for that, but then it just uses Skia under the hood. So I'm just going to create a new React Native app, and then I'm going to start up. Uh, I'm going to install this library and see whether it works just as well as they say so. Project is done installing, so I'm just gonna go to the to the folder and then open it with code dot. Cool. I'll open the terminal and then go npm start run start. Cool, so we have React Native app, so just gonna delete everything here and simply just have a simple text which is just saying app and then what I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna stop my server and then I'm gonna install the Scottle library. In this case using uh, npm so npm i uh, certainly not like that npm i yes then while this is installing i'm just gonna go to the lotify website I'm gonna go to the Lotus website and then download some free Lotus files that we're gonna use for this project. So I found this cute animation, and one thing about the Scotty file, like Scotty library, now I'm trying to download, and it says it supports both Lotus files and dot loti files so that means that when i'm downloading here i can specify whether i want a loti file or a dot loti file so in this case i'm just gonna choose uh the basic uh loti file the difference is just the size the dot loti file is much smaller Cool. So the file has downloaded, so I'm just gonna clear everything and I've added the animation here as well. So I've just downloaded it and then place it in my root directory. So I'm gonna go to the app.tsx and then I'm just gonna first import that animation. So we're just gonna go. Import. Um, it's a loading animation, so we can just go loading. Animation from in this case just from the root, so we can just choose animation here. 
and then after finishing with that uh, we're just gonna grab the Scotty library so let's just import it React native Scotty import from it and then here we're gonna just copy that yeah, not like that. Just run this here, and then we will deal with the styles in a second. Okay, let's put it like that. Just give it the style. And then let's npm run Android. Okay, let's put up. So one thing which I forgot to mention that you need to install React Native Skia before you install this library. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna install React Native Skia. npm install at Shopify React Native Skia. We get that. Just get that going. Okay, uh, let's then try again. And so just after a really long build, then the app is actually built and the animation is looking very nice, very smooth as well, like let me see if I can just increase the size here. Just do 350 by 350. And just like that, that's the new React Native Scotty library. Animations looking nice. Library itself is simple. You just need to install React Native Skia and then afterwards install this library. It's much more sp like smoother than like the original uh, Loti library. And it's supposed to be also, let me just share the stats here. You can see here that it's actually on average like the number of frames which are being rendered actually much much more on this uh ring of scotty but anyways the link to this code is in the description there's not really much to do but if you want to follow along in a written form go to the description and cool have a great one y'all